back to meet the founder where I ask skincare founders your skincare questions and today we are at Pi which is very very exciting so I wish to meet Sarah. So this is Sarah from Pi, nice to meet you puppy Sarah, yes. lovely to meet you Isabella, so nice to have you here. I have got a few questions for you that okay. my lovely followers have sent in so my first question is can you tell me a bit about your skin journey? Isabella how long have you got? Um, it's been a very long skin journey, um, 20 years so I was I have a condition called urticaria, it's a chronic form of it, no one's ever heard of it, it's very common and I've had it for a very long time and I was diagnosed 20 years ago. But I'm happy to say it's now really under control. So I still have it, but I, it's so well managed and that's always the, the ambition with skin conditions is to get them to a point that you're managing them so well. And They're how less do you manage yours? Really it's about understanding you and your triggers and your skin. And I always say, you know, eczema or acne on one person can look completely different on another. You're looking for solutions desperately. So you need to understand your skin and, and actually it's giving you lots of signs all the time. For me, it became very intuitive and all the things I thought were impacting my skin, I was told by doctors weren't and they were. So I, the best thing I would say to anyone with any skin frustration is um, keep a skin diary and it's painful and you have to be really dedicated to do it. So food, your menstrual cycle, um, stress, sleep, and what you will see is you will start to see patterns emerge. And when you see those patterns, you dig deep into those and you'll start to actually unlock amazing knowledge. So I learned certain foods I shouldn't eat, or I could eat them cooked but not uncooked, certain why, like all sorts, right? And, it, and it's then you're in a position of power and information and knowledge is power. Acne, lots of yeah. skin is linked to stress, isn't it? So the more stress you get, and it's so easy to say, the more stress you get. I've done um, exactly the same with my skin and there's okay. such difference, like literally keeping a diary, tracking it, my hormones, it for three months, got rid of stress and my skin has changed so significantly. It's mad. It's, it's so linked. And we do lots of skin consultations. We've done them for years, free, and we've seen every type of skin. And actually, we're tackling stress is the number one. It's so easy to say, tackle your stress. I mean, it's not easy to do. And how do you tackle your stress? For me, it, for me, sometimes it's just about understanding why my skin's behaving a certain way. So, so that's partly takes away a big chunk of the skin stress because, and for example, for me, I know wine is not great for urticaria generally. But I love having a glass of wine, so I'm not going to deprive myself of it, but at least I'll know that if I'm having a red wine, I might get a bit itchy, I might get quite hot, but I don't care because I'm enjoying a glass of wine. That's the best way. And I think that's the way to do it. I don't care. So I'm like, I understand I'm enjoying it, and that therefore it's not acute. It's that the reaction isn't as acute anyway, mm. and then you're not getting stressed about it, and then it just goes away. Yeah, wow, that's so similar to my journey, it's crazy. Really? It's so interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah completely the same, but I know what's going to break me out. So I have it, but I know it's going to do it, so it's fine. But you're and in I control. But you're in control. Yeah, right? it's completely And I thing. do think, I, so often I hear people say, I've, I've excluded this, I've excluded this, I've excluded this, I don't drink, I only drink water, I drink three litres a day, and they're just, and it's not, as much as all of those things are really good, and gosh, we all aspire to be living that very virtuous life all the time. It's not actually that sustainable. And then the stress of keeping it going is an added stress. Completely. So you yeah. just have to live your life, enjoy your life. And, and also, and I think particularly with acne, I suffered with acne, adult acne for a period from outsiders looking in, they, often they don't even notice, right? And, but you feel like it defines you as a person. And I used to feel defined by my skin that people would identify me as that. The one with yes. the acne, the one with yes. eczema, yeah, completely. And, but it's normal to feel like that, and it's not vain either. That's perfect, <laughs> <laughs> um, If you're going to a desert island, what product would you take? And it doesn't have to be a pie product, any product. Oh, okay, well, if it's not skincare, mm -hmm. I would take an eye mask. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. I'm, at the moment, it's so hot, I'm sleeping with windows open, and I'm waking up about five o'clock in the morning <laughs> with the sun, right? And I like my sleep, so it would drive me nuts if I was on a desert island and I couldn't... I was being woken up with the sun all the time. I don't know, skincare but product. if it was a skincare product, um, I would always say a cleanser. A lot of skin frustrations, including Lemerspring skin, is made worse by the wrong type of cleanser. So if you get your cleansing right, that can literally unlock healthy, happy, balanced skin in an extraordinary and unexpected way. So I always say cleansers are the most important thing to invest in um, 
And I would say Middle Mist 7 is my staple cleanser because it's, it keeps the skin calm. It would be on a desert island. It would be that little bit of luxury nice. at the end of the day. Just enjoy your... I would just yeah. feel that I had something. Yeah, yeah. that's lovely. And what would you say is like your ingredients, your die-hard ingredient that you think everyone should know about? Them? Ooh, that's so hard. I mean, there's so many great ingredients that we use and um, that I love. I'll, I'll pick a current one, mm -hmm. right, because this is quite on trend. But, um, been around for centuries, but mushrooms. We use a three mushroom complex um, called Isset Chaga and Reishi. So mushrooms are crazy. And for the skin, they do bring extraordinary benefits. And they have, they're very, very strong antioxidants. So great for any time of year, but particularly summer. If you've had sun exposure, um, it's going to give you, you know, protection against UV and other, you know, other environmental factors, but also help afterwards calm the skin down. So it's got masses of glutamine in, that's an amino acid. And glutamine, what it does is it, it kind of blocks our inflammatory pathways. And, and if, if you, um, struggle with blemishes, actually you have a lot of inflammation in your skin and part of the, the battle is to calm the inflammation. And these mushrooms are absolutely amazing at doing that and it's just a booster you add a drop into your moisturiser um, so you can use it with your existing products, that's the beauty of it. It's like a creamy, it's just, it looks calming and it is. Mm. It's like a fire blanket and we only launched it a few months ago and the feedback has been absolutely amazing just as keeping the skin in beautiful balance and harmony so that would be my you're, you're my choice but it's hard to choose right so that's yes. hard to choose <laughs> like the products <laughs> you know, there's so many perfect that's literally it as well okay. yeah. thank okay. you so much Sarah. A pleasure. so let me know if you want me to ask Sarah anything else apart comment down below and have an amazing day yeah enjoy the sun